Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Mini Cooper. Right, if you haven't caught up in the previous episodes, we've completely welded up the driver's side. Uh, basically it's at the point where it's in primer, seam sealer, and we're gonna paint everything in one hit. So we've got stone chip to blow in from the seals inboard, sort of about maybe a foot in, um, just to sort of blend in with the original floors. Um, the original color, the car is still green underneath. It's really good, sort of three or four flutes into the car. It's really good. So we're gonna try and blend that in together. Um, obviously these are repairs, it's not a restoration. So we're just gonna leave our job as tidy as possible. But we're gonna get onto the passenger side now. Now this side from looking at it, when it was on the lorry, we could see it a bit better higher up. It did look a lot better. Um, that being said, there's quite a bit of corrosion at the front down where the flitch panel is. And I'm gathering it's gonna be gone around the jacking point and things like that. But the main areas we need to look for is at the back where the hillboard is, so the soft frame meets, is that's good and solid like the other side, would be good. Um, and yeah, basically it's any inner seal repairs, we've got to do them and then we can get the other seal on. When I prepared the driver's seal, I prepared the passenger seal, so it should make this transition a bit quicker. It's all ready, peps, ready to go, holes drilled, ready to, ready to get on the car. So should make things a lot easier. So let's take a quick look and then I'll stick you guys up on a time lapse and we'll get stripping it down because we've got the kick plate to get rid of and that's where it condemns the driver's doorstep and hopefully we won't have to do it on this side but we have got the panels just in case we need to so without further ado let's have a look and see see where we're at with it right so starting at the front flitch panel area is quite bad there there's a hole here in the seal but not in the actual uh, inner seal so hopefully it should just be the outer skin the paint's peeling away here but it's nothing too big. I reckon it's going to be quite bad here because it's quite corroded and cracked. Looking along the rest of it, the rest of the seal is really good. Now bear in mind these are the original seals. It's not too bad at all, which is why we chose to do the driver's side. So like a lot of this is just flaking paint. It's it's really not too bad. And we'll get get chopping and see what's what. But first of all, we'll get that kick plate off because that's what gave us more work on the other side. Alright, so start with getting this off. Peel this off here. So there's a bit of corrosion here, but that's nothing that couldn't be repaired but it is going under where that screw hole was. It looks really good there, so let's get this off. Now that is a lot better, lots, lots better. It's just started to rub a little bit, but that's really, we we treat this, we we'll grind this back and treat it. Yes, so you can just see where it started to rub against it. Like I say, I'm gonna wax these inside, so there shouldn't be any like vibra vibrations cause any more scratching. Obviously all these are gonna be fully painted anyway. Perfect. Well, I'm happy with that.
Right, so that's the seal cut off. So I'll bring you guys back in. I'm still gonna take out this as it's rotten underneath. Put my finger in under the box section there. And we've got a small hole there. That's the factory sort of plug. Um, but it's a bit surface rusty, so we won't put the section of inner seal in, I think, right up to here again and put that all in. Um, that's sort of been confirmed. I've knocked the floor down again, as you saw. Uh, so the floor's nice and straight, but it's gone in a corner here. So from looking at the inner seal, they come up to about there. So I'm hoping if I can put as much of it as I can in, we should be able to get that. If not, what I'll do is I'll make a piece to go in there. This is where some sealant's peeled away, um, but it is only surface rust. It has had a flitch repair this side as well, which again is a bit annoying because it's not been done very well, but it's solid at the end of the day, but it just, where my panels align, it, it affects that a little bit when panels aren't in right. But, so the inner seal will sort that. Underneath there, we'll get sorted with the inner seal. Um, there's some corrosion here. So I'm gonna dig that out and see how bad that is. Um, all under here is really good. So, it's got minor surface rust, but I think, because of the, what's making me think to do the same as last side, is because it's gone round the anchor point again clean that out and put that in. Um, all the way down there, you see nice shiny metal. There's a small nick there where I pulled the spot weld, so I have to just blob that in, but pretty happy at that. It's basically the same as the other side. The question I've got is the door step. Now the door step itself isn't that bad. It's got a bit here, which I could you know, cut out or whatnot. I've just pulled out, I've got a off cut of a door step there and I've used bits for the clubman, so. I could do it that way. The biggest issue is this lip's gone completely. You can see where I've cleaned it back and it really is just, you know, it's just flaking away in my hand. I can't weld a new seal to that spot weld or I hate that. Um, yeah, but is it all quite good inside here? That's the only issue. But we have got the panel. So what I will do is I'll put it in as far up as I can up here again and as far back here as I possibly can and it will eliminate all of that. So I think what I might do it's before I cut any of the seal out, I might do that first. Uh, it just, it, when you're working, you're catching yourself on it. And then that way I know where the original original step came up to and stuff. So the beauty of this side is it's lined up really well. If you remember on the other side, this was like the seal, the door set wasn't even attached. It was a really poor effort by Rover, but luckily this side's fitted better. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be the same story as the other side, unfortunately. As much as it doesn't look as bad, I think it's the same story. And that side's all seam sealed and sort of ready for paint, but there's, it seems a bit silly to not to not do the same this side. It's just this is a bit better, but it's gone in another place, which is unfortunate, really. So let's get cutting the door step out, I think. Do that first. Then what I will do is not weld it to this and then put the inner seal in and do it that way. I think that's probably the best point of call. Mainly, like I say, mainly because when I'm working and leaning in and out, cutting stuff, you are just catching yourself on that so much and it's it's not the best. So let's clear that out and then the door sort of braced again with the new step. You can cut out the various little pieces. We can see if we do need to use all of the inner seal or bits of it um, and work from there. So it really isn't as bad on this side. So I'm a bit reluctant to put the whole thing in because it's just not that bad. I mean, this is how my side was and I just put a piece in. So, and again there, and it's, it's it was safe putting a whole massive panel in, because it's just not worth it when the steel's still really good. Um, try and keep some of the original car there. So I'll clean this back, treat this lot, and like I say, cut the little squares out until I have no rust, and if I, I feel that there's enough reason to just make the pieces, then we'll do that, and then we'll save the panel. Because like I said, if we don't use stuff on it, then it's gonna go onto the Mayfair. But this really isn't that bad, it's just that seabelt anchor that worries me. So I don't know end up thinking, but I'll do the doorstep first, I think.
Right, so I'm quite glad that we've cut this doorstep off now. Uh, just looking at the one I've taken off, it was about it was about to go, and you can see all the way along that lip is obviously caused the issue to what's crusted that away. But someone's waxed it in its life, so I'm assuming that's obviously a sign of care somewhere. But I'm glad that's gone. The other reason I'm glad it's gone is this is actually really really good. So I can now get in here and I can sort this out, potentially without having to replace this section. Uh, I can sort of see what, what's what. So this bit here, I'll probably chop this out where the bit of corrosion was and just put a new piece in. Might as well while I can. I've now trimmed this up. Um, you saw me hammer and dolly this straight, draw the spot welds out, and this fits really nice. This is actually a really good pressing from, from Magnum this time. So this fits probably one of the best door steps I fitted, um, like lining up wise, it goes straight in. So it's a bit bent in transit there, but we'll sort that out once it's in place and we can put a bit of pressure on it. But I'm quite happy at that. So I'm glad, I'm glad we've taken it out. Um, it's confirmed that all this is just surface. Um, and I, like I say, I can, I can really get in and see the, the safety points, which is the seatbelt anchor. Because at the end of the day, like I mentioned in a lot of my videos, the whole point of this is cars corroded and you want to, you want to be safe. So there's loads of wax all over this that's proven that again the car's been cared for. So sort of here, I'm okay. Two repairs and then basically I'm gonna put a front half and then a seal in I think. So probably from here forward. So a little bit less than the other side, but we are putting the same amount of panels in basically. Um, but the other side, the seat right anchor is completely, completely gone. So this gives me the chance to sort it out because when I had the sidewalk, I actually took this off. They're only tacked on, which is a bit, pathetic really they're only tacked on so I can get rid of this weld here and actually pull this out of the way repair this and put it back so it'd be nice to retain something factory um, and it's worth doing it such a car like this it's definitely definitely worth doing it so yeah along here I'll clean all this back nicely because obviously I am conscious that this is nice I painted this panel and try and keep it nice and tidy so I've cleaned it back as much as I can this is all sort of ready to go just needs treatment cut this off and yeah, I think I think we'll go. So I'm going to get the welder out and we'll get this in. And then I think that I think that'll be a I think that'll be a good bit of work done. Big big step forward and obviously we diagnosed what the problems are. So if I was to be honest, it's a bit better than the other side, but just as bad. Um what happened on the other side, there was a few repairs in there as well which weren't the best, but yeah. And obviously where the drain holes are in the driver's side we repaired as well so yeah it's one of them it's is what it is but having taken this off and if i lay the two here i mean which are you going to choose do you know what i mean you might as well you might as well so again i'll, I'll redrill the holes where the, the kick plate went but it's no biggie i've taken reference points for where they went so right don't get that welder Right, so, got a good solid panel back in. This one fitted really well. Um, I haven't linished all of this back yet, I just wanted to get a rough idea of what's going on. But, pretty happy with that. Spot welder's done its job. I'm happy we've done this, because now we've got a solid lip for the new seal to go on. I'm gonna do the repairs here, and there's a small repair here by the seat that I anchor to do. But other than that, we can get the start getting the seal on. So, some of you guys asked in a previous episode what I use between panels. I use a well through primer, so a zinc primer. This one's from Halfords, but you can get them all over the place. To be fair, this Halfords one's really good, it'll last a long time. So 
that's what I use between the panels. So between these panels, the inner seal and the step, it has paint. So the spot welders pinch paint between it. It's very important. And what we've got to go over the top is an etch primer. This sort of gives it an anti-corrosive covering. And yeah, so once I've got this linish back a bit more and I'm a bit happier with it, we'll get all of it in zinc. Then we do the filler work we need to do and then we'll move on. But I wanted to show you guys these because a lot of people ask in the comments. Well guys, that brings this episode to a close. Door steps on and I'm glad we've gone this route. You've seen the, seal, the uh, yeah, door step earlier on. It was worth doing. Uh, I could have cleaned it back, but luck would have had it. It, it would have started bubbling through in a year or so and you'd have just kicked yourself for not doing it. Got the panels, let's just do it. So, one in. Inner sill wise, we're gonna repair the front of it. It's really not too much, and repair the floor pan at the front. Everything else we're gonna try and clean up. Um, obviously gonna see what we can save, what we can't save. So I think we've got two repairs here, one in the middle and a small one at the back. So there's four small repairs to do. So that's really not too bad. Uh, and it retains quite a bit of the original sill. It's, it's quite weird, this is very much the same as my sidewalk. I put a full inner sill, like we've done over there, in, and then repaired the passenger side. It is literally the same, and there's only about a year or so if not eight months separating the two cars. So yeah, just an observation, I guess, from having cars that I've noticed. But yeah, I'm really quite happy with that. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, check back and see the rest of this build because this car really is truly quite special. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite looking forward to getting all the welding done, getting the paintwork done, firing it up again, and just listening to that lumpy cam turn over because it really, really is nice. So yeah, we're getting there. So. Catch you in the next one guys when we will be doing the inner seal repairs. Um, basically getting ready for the seal. So hopefully it won't take too long. And this can be backed down properly and get ready for some paint. Stay safe guys and I'll catch you in the next one.